Shalom, shalom, family. This is Yehuda from Yah's Assembly, and today we're getting back into a psalm a day, and we're going over Psalms 107. Um, this is for those that need uh, some help with their faith in the Most High. He delivers men from the troubles. He delivers the sons of Jacob from the troubles. So please subscribe, hit that notification bell, like, and share our content, and let's get into it. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endureth forever. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so, whom he hath redeemed from the hand of the enemy. So in order to be redeemed, you have to speak things that are not as though they were. You have to believe it. You have to give them and apply that measure of faith that he's given you. And gather them out of the lands from the east and from the west, from the north and from the south. That's also a partly a future prophecy. They wandered in the wilderness in a solitary way. They found no city to dwell in. Hungry and thirsty, their soul fainted in them. Then they cried unto the Lord in their trouble, and he delivered them out of their distresses. So the main thing is getting to the point of humbling yourself and praying and crying out to the Most High and praising him. And he led them forth by the right way, that they might go to a city of habitation. Oh, that men would praise the Lord for his goodness and for his wonderful works to the children of men. We got to get to that point every day. For he satisfied the longing soul and filleth the hungry soul with goodness, such as sit in darkness and in the shadow of death, being bound in affliction and iron. Because they rebelled against the words of God, we all have, and contemned the counsel of the Most High. Therefore he brought down their heart with labor. They fell down, and there was none to help. We've all been there. Then they cried unto the Lord in their trouble. That's what we have to do. Humble. Humble yourselves and pray. And seek my face and turn from your wicked ways. And he saved them out of their distresses. He brought them out of the darkness and the shadow of death. And break their bands in, in sunder. Oh that men would praise the Lord for his goodness. And for his wonderful works to the children of men. For he hath broken the gates of brass. And cut the bars of iron in sunder. So he's taking you out of bondage. Fools because of their transgression. And because of their iniquities are afflicted. We've all been fools. Their soul abhorreth all manner of meat, and they draw near unto the gates of death. We've all been there. Some of us are there right now. Then they cry unto the Lord in their trouble, and he saveth them out of, out of their distresses, because they, they apply the measure of faith that they've been given. They don't just think that their sins are so bad to where they can't be forgiven. Get up. He sent his word and healed them, and delivered them from their destructions. Oh, that men would praise the Lord for his goodness and for his wondrous works to the children of men. That's what we have to do. And let them sacrifice the sacrifices of thanksgiving, praising the Lord, or Yahuwah, and declare his works with rejoicing. They that go down to the ships, in, to the sea in ships, that do business in great waters, these see the works of the Lord and his wonders in the, the, in the deep. For he commandeth and raiseth the stormy wind. Which lifted up the waves thereof. They mount up to the heaven. They go down again to the depths. Their soul is melted because of trouble. They reel to and fro. And stagger like a drunken man. And are at their wit's end. Then they cry unto the Lord in their trouble. And he bringeth them out of their distresses. That's what you have to do. Stop trusting in your own strength. And lean on the creator. He maketh the storm a calm. So that the waves thereof are still. Then are they glad because they be quiet. So he bringeth them unto their desired haven. So he takes you where you want to go. Oh, that men would praise the Lord for his goodness and for his wondrous, wonderful works to the children of men. That's what we have to do again. Let them exalt him also in the congregation of the people and praise him in the assembly of the elders. He turned the rivers into a wilderness and the water springs into dry ground. A fruitful land into barrenness for the wickedness of them that dwell therein. He turneth the wilderness into a standing water, and dry ground into water springs. And there he maketh the hungry to dwell, that they may prepare a city for habitation. And sow the fields, and plant vineyards, which may yield fruits of increase. He blesseth them also, so that they are multiplied greatly, and suffereth not their cattle to decrease. Again, they are menished, and brought low through oppression, affliction, and sorrow. We've all been there, but he's bringing us out. We just got to lean on him. 
This is, all, this is one that's going to be all about patience and endurance for what's coming. A greater deception is coming. A great, another great event is coming. You got to depend on Yahuwah Yairo, who some people call Jehovah Jireh. He poured contempt upon princes and caused them to wander in the wilderness. Well, there is no way. Yet setteth he the poor on high from affliction. He's making the, the tail the head or the head the tail. And maketh him families like a flock. The righteous shall see it and rejoice. And all iniquity shall stop her mouth. Whoso is wise. That's what we, wisdom is the what principal thing. And will observe these things. When they shall understand the loving kindness of the Lord. Of Yahuwah. So Father we thank you for your word. Which you know forever Father. Forgive us for not uh, giving you the praise that you do. Since we are sons of men. Since we are sons of Jacob Father. We ask, Father, for you to forgive us of our sins and the sins of our ancestors. We ask for you to lead us and guide us into all truth. We ask for you to send prosperity now. We ask for you, excuse me, we ask for you to send health now, Father. We ask, Father, for you to open our eyes to the, the deceptions that are coming and to keep our eyes focused and um, dependent on you, Father. We trust in you. You are the rock of our salvation. You are our strong tower. You are our high tower. You are our shield and our buckle. You are our defense, Father. We trust you. And we know that you are all power, Father. And we do not limit the Holy One of Israel, Father. And we just thank you, Father, for your mercy and do it forever. Thank you for being ready to save. Thank you for being ready to forgive, Father. Uh, thank you for sending your Son, who was faithful to death, to show us the way, the truth, and the life, Father. Thank you for him being the light of the world, Father. All of these things we do ask and pray in the name of your beloved Son, Amon. So again, this was a psalm a day. This was Psalms 107. I am Yehuda. This is Yaz Assembly, so please subscribe, hit that notification bell, like and share our content, and until next time, peace, family. Whoa.